what testing should be done at diagnosis? So uh, to confirm a myeloma diagnosis, we need to do a battery of tests. Uh, these include blood tests, urine tests, uh, tests on the bone marrow, uh, and also tests in terms of imaging uh, tests. Uh, these give us a variety of information, both to help diagnose the disease and to establish the aggressiveness of the disease. It also has starting to have implications on what treatments we decide to give our patients. So as far as the uh, blood tests go, we do a complete blood count, looking mainly for the hemoglobin level. We do a, a chemistry uh, test to look at the kidney function, also to look at the albumin level in the patient's blood, and also the calcium level. We do a variety of other tests that are more for prognostic purposes, including a beta-2 microglobin and a lactic dehydrogenase uh, test. So suffice to say, there's a battery of tests that are done for screening. And then for more uh, specific diagnosis, we look for the cancer protein. And that we, again, uh, employ a variety of methods to do so. One is the serum protein electrophoresis. Another is the quantitative immunoglobulins. And then the serum-free light chain assay. As regards the tests in the urine, we're at least initially trying to see if there is protein spilling into the urine and what kind of protein it is. Uh, so we ask for actually a 24-hour urine collection uh, to be done uh, on patients. Um, as regards bone marrow biopsy, we are doing a variety of tests on the bone marrow. One is to look at the number of the plasma cells, which are the cell type that gives rise to this cancer in the bone marrow. Normally, these should be less than 5% of the cells. And we, uh, in this condition, do see that patients have um, more than 5%, often a uh, majority of their cells in the bone marrow may be plasma cells. Uh, in addition to looking at the cells under the microscope, we send the cell, uh, tests off for chromosomal analysis and fish testing, which gives us uh, prognostic information uh, and also seems to uh, somewhat uh, inform our decision on how to treat patients. Imaging plays an important role in the diagnosis and staging of myeloma. In previous years, a skeletal survey using x-rays was the main imaging tool for the detection of lytic bone lesions in patients with myeloma. However, the International Myeloma Working Group now recommends whole body PET CT, low-dose whole body CT, or MRI of the whole body or spine, depending on the availability of each imaging modality in the clinical setting. Keep track of your myeloma labs, along with imaging and genetic test results in CureHub.